popular song of a few years ago says it never rains in California, but it certainly does in Goshen, New York. Hi, everyone. I'm John Pavlock. Welcome back to this week's Ion Harness Racing. We're here on a rainy, dreary day, but it really is a bright, sunny day if you're a fan of harness racing. This is the day the two latest candidates for the Living Hall of Fame are enshrined in Goshen, New York. Walter Russell has been one of the most respected judges in all of harness racing. And a bit interesting is the fact that he springs from training driving stock. Sanders Russell, long before uh, Walter was put in the Hall of Fame, we asked him about his history as a judge. At times I thought I was a real good groom, a fair second trainer. I knew I was not a race driver. I, I know some of the things it takes, and I had maybe one or two of them. Not 16. If I was going to be a judge, Walter, what is that one quality that I would need to get me to the Hall of Fame? It always boils down to two or three things. Patience, good eyesight, knowledge of the sport, and maybe uh, um, fairness in spreading all those around. The other enshrinee, Jim Simpson, son of John Simpson Sr., another enshrinee in the Hall of Fame. Uh, a lot of knowledge, and uh, I hope uh, great sincerity, and that uh, helped me get here. You also, like Walter, veered from being a horseman. You also started out as a horseman. Why the change? Uh, I just felt it was time, and uh, it uh, just felt right. Your job has become a little more important in the state of Pennsylvania because there's been some legislation that has really been aimed at your industry and you've uh, tried to grow the industry in Pennsylvania. So you're more than a farm operator at this point, aren't you? Yeah, I'm an amateur politician uh, reluctantly, but uh, there's always legislation, uh, good and bad, going on and it's a challenge to keep track of it. A race that at one time was contested over this track is the Titan Cup, now raced in New Jersey at the Meadowlands. It resulted in a spectacular world record for Arch Madness, who this year has won on both the European Grand Circuit and now on the U.S. Grand Circuit. Arch Madness with a huge mile in the Titan Cup for Brian Sears. He's seven lengths clear. Lucky Jim is racing in second. The naysay Hanover Buckeye St. Pat and Slave Dream, but it's Arch Madness with a 16 to go. He is wrapped up. He is home free, and he is a decisive, dominating Titan Cup champion. I hope the weather at Harris Chester near Philadelphia a little bit better than it is today here at Goshen, because one of the uh, summer's important races, the Ben Franklin went to post. Won the West, giving chase on the outside. We will see he's cut loose up the open stretch, and here's We Will See to take over in the final yards. We Will See prevails in 48 and 4 from Better Sweet. I thought he raced super. Ronnie drove him great. The horse was up to it, and uh, everything fell into place. Very happy with the way it went. Well, what did you think about the way the race set up? Uh, I thought it set up great. I got a little nervous in the last turn. I thought those horses were going to pick up some ground. But uh, thank God we got a passing lane here, and we got out, and he fired. Uh, you said coming into this week you felt very good about him, so I guess he lived up to those expectations. Yes, he did. The horse was feeling great. Last week's mile didn't take anything out of him. This horse is a tough horse. You just, I can't say enough about him. He's an easy horse to train, good keeper, just one of a kind. I don't know if I'll ever have another one like him. I hope to God I do, but uh, it's going to be hard to replace a horse like him. It's the one weekend you don't want to miss visiting your favorite harness racetrack, July 15th, 16th, and 17th. That's Back to the Track Weekend, harness racing's most fan-friendly weekend of the year. There'll be giveaways, including a chance to win a trip to the Little Brown Jug and special wagers featuring some of the sport's top horses. Every harness racetrack in America will make fans welcome with specials designed to make the weekend one to remember. So grab a friend or two and come back to the track on July 15th, 16th, and 17th and sample the unbridled excitement of harness racing. It hasn't been rain and gloom all weekend here at Goshen. Yesterday, the sun was out. We had the opportunity to talk to Jason Bartlett, who resides right here in Goshen, New York, and asked him about the World Driving Championship. He finished six two years ago. He's had a long time to figure out an approach to winning in 2011. We asked him what that approach would be. Jason, you've got one World Driving Championship under your belt and a couple of years to think about what you might do differently. Any plan going into 2011? No, you know, I'm very excited to do this, you know, on a home turf, get to know the horses, I know the tracks, and, um, you know, concentrate on uh, every drive, you know, means a lot. you got to get the most points you possibly can. 
Jason, have you had a chance to study your competition? I know you know at least one of the fellows. He's a defending champion, but there's some real Bearcats in this young field. You know, I really haven't. You know, I know Jody very well. I know Berger from, uh, you know, previous year. Um, so uh, Dexter Dunn just recently came over. So, you know, I really haven't uh, done too much research on him. One of the great traditions of Hall of Fame weekend here in Goshen, New York, is a race limited to members of the Living Hall of Fame. They had some off going. They had to wear their rain colors, but I would imagine the competitive juices were flowing once again. How do you beat all these really great drivers? What do you expect? They, they, they put me against a, a bunch of old guys. Oh, they, they're all old timers, so they, they see. <laughs> you, all I see in this winter circle is smiles, so it has to be really wonderful to come back here and to pop now with these great stars, of which, of course, you were one. You need, you need a lot of luck there. You have the, the right horse, but the right post position behind the gate, and the old great driver, and the, the all my friends, and but of course, it's fun to win. Yeah, that's the name of the game, winning. Winning is everything. It never changes. Winning is what it's all about in harness racing. And these gentlemen who represent the finest drivers in the history of harness racing have proved that once again on a rainy day. So there's a little mud on those smiles that Mike Lachance referred to. There's great camaraderie here, and it's one of the great spectacles that we enjoyed once again this year at Goshen, New York. I hope you can come to Goshen at least once in your lifetime. I promise you, you'll come back again and again. Come back and join us next week for another edition of Eye on Harness Racing.